I grew up loving Godzilla. That's partly why I'm doing this movie, is because I was so enamored with Godzilla. Um, more so than King Kong. I was more of a Godzilla man than King Kong. And I think why, <laughs> logic of a boy, is that Godzilla didn't apologize for anything. <laughs> he just destroyed everything in his wake, and that was, that was so boy, you know, crush everything. The component of the movie that, that attracted me most, and that was the father-son relationship that my character has with Aaron Johnson, his character. And um, at first, you know, I joked because they said, well, it's, it's got a really strong father-son relationship in it, and we want you to be a part of this movie. And I said, great, who's playing my father? And <laughs> he's like, oh, no, no, it's, you know, I, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm, I surmised that. Joe is, is uh, very, very good at his work, and he sees uh, an anomaly in, in some sound patterns that um, others are trying to, to write off as earthquakes or something. And, and what I'm looking at, uh, the data doesn't support that, that, uh, that prognosis that it's you know, just an earthquake and ride through it. Um, but um, he says that it's, it, there's, there's, there's something more here, and we need to we need to possibly even shut down the nuclear plant in order to get to the bottom of it. And um, they don't want to listen to him. What makes Godzilla 2014 different from the others is that it's matured. The whole sensibility of how to make a movie like this has matured because it's not just about this beast and how are we going to control it, kill it, capture it, how, how, how is that even possible? 